morning. I'm Olivia. And I'm Ty. Welcome to Spartan News. And today we're going to be talking about things you can do this winter to keep yourself occupied and entertained. But first, let's head over to news with Bennett. Crystal Briley, a 39-year-old woman from Ohio, was found with about 4 pounds of cocaine, 280 pounds of marijuana, and over 8,000 fentanyl pills in her car after a traffic stop just north of Phoenix, Arizona. According to press reports, Briley was stopped for speeding and swerving out of her lane when a deputy smelled a, quote, overwhelming odor of fresh marijuana. Briley was arrested on charges including possession and transportation of marijuana for sale, possession of a narcotic drug, and narcotic drug for sale. Her bond was set at $500,000. Egyptian, Egyptian model Salma El Shimi was arrested on Monday in Cairo for having a photography session in the city of Giza, a major archaeological site, without a permit. The Ministry of Tourism and Antiques deemed her dress that was modeled from ancient Egyptian clothing inappropriate. The ministry put the model and her photographer on bail for 35 American dollars each. The photographer commented that they wouldn't have gotten in trouble if Sama al Shimi had a different body type. These comments have made the internet raving about letting the model wear whatever she wants. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Any boys or girls interested in joining the bowling program this year? As of now, it'll start December 14th, so sign up on Family ID now. Bowling is a very safe activity that can hopefully bring some sense of normalcy back to school life. If interested, sign up on Family ID. On the Family ID athletic website, it has a link or you could email Coach Pirano at mpirano at esmschools.org. Video Club is holding a girls' clothing fundraiser. The clothing is either new or barely worn. Clothing brands include Abercrombie, American Eagle, Patagonia, Under Armour, Francesca's, and so much more. Each item is $3 or less. Head down to B14 before school, during lunch, between periods, or get a pass to come out of study hall. Senior quotes and senior collage photos are overdue. Go to esmyearbook.org to submit your quote for directions about getting in the collage. If we don't have your quote by December 7th, we will not include it. Do not miss out. The counseling department has recently created a Facebook page and an Instagram to get the most relevant information. Uh, check them out. All right. Now we know you're all bored of being stuck inside and being in a pandemic hasn't made it any easier, but we've thought of some things to make this winter at least a little bit more bearable. And you know, even though we are stuck in such unprecedented times, there are plenty of activities around to keep you occupied and entertained. One of my favorites is actually going to Onondaga Lake Park to uh, see the lights on the lake, you know, turn the music down a little low, put on some Christmas music or some low, low vibey music, you know, watch the lights. Uh, building snowman and uh, having snow fights with my family is definitely something I look forward to every year. Uh, living in central New York, we definitely get more than enough snow, so <laughs> Uh, why not go inside and enjoy the crisp cold weather? And if you're not into that, you can stay inside and start up on your Christmas spirit by maybe watching a movie or drinking some hot cocoa. And you know what, speaking of snow, let's take it over the weather. Today will be cloudy but mild with the chance of rain, rain or snow showers later on in the day. Snowfall will begin on higher elevations this morning and the highs will be in the mid 40s. This weekend we'll have a few rain and snow showers with highs nearly at the freezing point. Monday will be cool with the possibility of a few flurries and have highs in the upper 30s. Tuesday will be chilly with clouds and sun with highs near, 40, not near 35. And Wednesday and Thursday we'll both have a few rain or snow showers with highs near 40. I'm Nicole with your weather. Another way to keep yourself occupied is baking. Not only is it a great pastime, but at the end you get to enjoy a sweet treat. You know, Olivia, I really couldn't agree more. I love being in the kitchen, especially with my grandma, you know, on a nice cold day, making some holiday cookies or even some brownies. Staying in touch with family and friends is really important during this time. 
Even though we all can't get together, calling and keeping track of your people uh, can be a great way to kill time. Maybe you have a friend or family member you haven't talked to in a while. Now is the perfect time to start catching up. So, Lena, uh, I heard that basketball open gym already started up, so how have they been? It was good to be back in the gym. Last night, the men's basketball team beat Niagara 75-45 to as Quincy Garrier led the team with 23 points and 13 rebounds. It was announced that an hour before the game started that an indiv individual had tested positive for COVID-19, but no names were announced. The Orange had played with a 10-man rotation. Some under-the-radar waiver wire pickups for your fantasy team this week include Jets receiver Detsno Mims and Dolphins quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick. A high school football player in Texas body slammed an official after being ejected from the game. The player was escorted from the stadium by police and the official was evaluated for a concussion and under other injuries. I'm Lena with sports. So that's all the time we have today and hopefully some ideas were able to pop up in your head, you know, to keep you sane through this, this crazy winter season. So from me, Ty, and everyone else here on the morning show, um, that's it. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.